We know that it is through actually mining the assets of our communities, all of us coming together, understanding it's our shared responsibility, providing services and supports from all of those systems, from housing to, to food, to mental health services, to health care, all of those services we, ne we know our students need so they can learn. That's what they're doing here. The community schools model is, is vitally important. It is, in fact, the model that we've been so desperately waiting for in public education because it puts schools in their rightful place at the center of the community. Our parents, our community, our educators have been crying out for a model that really takes into account all of what our students need and our educators need. Our students need resources. Our parents need resources. And our educators need to be at the center of decision-making process around not just resources, but also about the, the ed curriculum we use, the way our schools function. CTA is creating a network of support for our local associations in California's Community School Initiative. There are 20 CTA locals taking part in the NEA Strategic Campaign on Community Schools, with most receiving NEA Community Advocacy and Partnership Engagement Grants to support their organizing efforts. The Community Schools model is really about bringing local control um, back to our schools and ensuring that students and parents and the community who are impacted by the school have a say in what's going on and also that the resources that uh, our students and our parents and our community members have the assets, the brilliance, the knowledge that they can bring to the school community is leveraged, right? And it is leveraged for the benefit of the entire school community. Community schools have been able to um, really bring uh, student supports and family supports that allowed for students to stress less on food and income and rent by being able to create wraparound services for those students and families. The community school model is critical to the work of supporting our immigrant and uh, low-income families. So we have to do a lot of outreach, a lot of talking, a lot of listening, a lot of being visible. You have to be out there, out in front of the school, talking to people every day, letting them see your face, letting them know that um, you're there for them, building that trust in those relationships is really crucial to that. We've taken the time uh, as leaders to go out into the community and build some relationships with community groups, with parent groups, and then bring them all together. Our union office now, for the first time um, th that I've seen ever, has regular meetings with parents, with students, community members, teachers, all together discussing the issues that are important to them and how we can find solutions. The community school model really gets the parents to have an authentic voice in the education. It's the parent, you know, the important work we're doing as parents and giving, you know, bringing those assets to the school and the school helping us in, in terms of needs if we have any, but also the assets that we bring in, in enriching the school. Families want and students want um, curriculum that actually builds on community and cultural assets that is, that is very unique to every school site. Students and families want lower class sizes because when you have smaller um, class sizes then educators can spend more undivided time with each student right students feel a level of comfort um, when there aren't um, an overwhelming number of students in the classroom I would absolutely encourage other cities other school districts around the country um, to embrace the community schools model because truly we know that each and every community is different. Each and every community has different needs and also different assets and resources. And for schools to really be able to impact students and parents and families in the ways that we know that they can and they should, they need to first be uh, including those students and parents and families and educators in the school community, in leadership, in decision making, um, and in deciding how schools are run. As a parent, I'm invested. And as a community, we're invested. We want our kids to be successful. Um, and so, you know, he's engaged in school, you know, he does well, his friends, you know, they're they're all building off of that same energy of us all being involved and invested. 
all of our students, regardless of where they live, especially those of color, our BIPOC students, and the ones in the lower socioeconomics, have what they need to be successful. Because that is the way that we can, as educators, help lift them out of their situations.